people welcome to another edition of the op vlog live uh this week i've got something really important to talk about with you guys called article 13 it could mean the end of the internet as we know it uh so it's really super critical that i talk about it with you guys um i'm gonna get on the share real quickly before we get into today's show but um yeah if you're watching live give me a like give me a share uh, if you can give this a heart or a life or a wow, then that'd be awesome. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying earlier, this is really super, super important stuff. Um, this bill called Article 13, it's already gone through uh, all of the approval stages. And in its current wording right now, uh, they're just finalizing on the phrasing of the article. The reason why this is so important is because um, it's, it can affect literally every single social site that there is on the internet. And it will not just be for people that want to create content. It's about also people that want to um, just view content and upload their own stuff as well. It could literally just destroy so much of what we've known to build up over the last, God, I'd say at least like decade of stuff on YouTube and Facebook and SoundCloud, all that sort of stuff. Um, but before I get too much into the deep end of it, because I do have a video prepared for you guys, which will explain a lot more about what's going on. I'm just gonna get on the share real quick and I'll be right back to this topic. So stay tuned. Uh, but um, yeah, I found out about this earlier in the week. Um, I think the, one of the main reasons why it's been so hard to get traction on this movement is because the actual article itself is called something really, uh, really, really boring. Um, so it's been hard to sort of like catch on, but, um, more recently it's become a lot more of like a wide, widely known thing that, um, a lot of creators on YouTube have been, um, shouting as loud as they can about, um, because it is, if this article passes with the current phrasing at the moment, it is just going to basically like wipe out so many creators. It, it is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, if you are watching live right now, uh, let me know in the comments um, about anything that we're talking about today. And um, it'd be really awesome to hear from you. I'd love to hear some of your feedback as well, um, as I say, because it's not just going to be affecting um, producers and that sort of stuff. It's if, if you want to upload anything, like li li literally anything that's in any way remotely um, from uh, an, like an official source, like a big production company, music company, all that sort of stuff, and it's just basically going to squeeze out um, the little guys, uh, which is is really savage. Um, before we get into this much more, I think we're just about ready to get into this. I think there's the video on there somewhere on <laughs> my desktop. I've been shuffling around the, um, the setup on here quite a bit. And uh, I think we've worked out the best way for it. Oh, my days. Where is this video? typical on it i like i already rendered this just before here we go um just before going live which is why i'm a little bit late today okay so i think we are yep yeah, that's all on that lovely okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play this video from film theory uh this will explain a lot of what's going on right now and why you should care about it uh in the short if you are gonna skip out at any point i would just say just research hashtag article 13, uh, speak to your local MP, um, tr really try and convince them why this is such a bad idea because uh, if, it, if it goes through, which will be implemented by the end of December, um, yeah, if this goes through as it is, it, it's just gonna be, the internet's just gonna be such a sad place to exist in. <laughs> I mean, like it's the one thing we have left as people is the internet and they wanna take that away from us as well. So uh, yeah, without any further delay, uh, let's get into this. So uh, this is a video from Film Theory. Uh, let's transfer over, awesome. Welcome to Film Theory, the show that, quite honestly, there might not go. be able to air in Europe anymore. That's not an opening joke or an exaggeration either. Do you watch gamers 
or film criticism channels? Have you ever laughed at a meme, SpongeBob, Thanos, or otherwise? Do you have a Twitter or Tumblr account? Have you ever used anything from Imager, Jiffy, or Giffy, depending on how you pronounce it? Are you one of those people who long for the old days of YouTube when the big media companies weren't on the platform? I am sure between all of those questions, I am talking to a huge chunk of you. And if I am, then pay very close attention to today's episode, because a huge percent of the content that you currently watch and share online is on the chopping block, including this show, and Game Theory, and GT Live. And if there's any hope of saving them, well, we've gotta act now. So if this is such a big deal, then why is no one talking about this supposed yep. looming threat <laughs> to all our online content? Well, I mean, the name alone is the Directive on Copyright in the Digital Single Market, which, oh boy, if that doesn't get you hyped, well then you don't even policy make. Yeah, I mean, it's seriously, who comes up with these policies? Like, it's definitely robots, right? <laughs> Bro. In short, it's kind of complicated. And by kind of complicated, I mean really complicated. But you may have heard the words Article 13 tossed around on and off throughout this year. And if you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen me trying to sound the alarms about this supposed meme ban. And just to be clear, this isn't just YouTube. This is any single social site on the internet. Facebook, SoundCloud, Imager, Giphy. Uh, YouTube, Reddit, uh, the list goes on. Piece of legislation that, according to Facebook, quote, could have serious unintended consequences for an open and creative internet. And according to YouTube CEO, poses a threat to creators' livelihoods and all of our ability to upload videos to share our voices with the world. But then, what is this thing that everyone is so worried about? Well, let me explain. Right now, all websites, and I mean all websites, including big ones like YouTube, Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Reddit, Twitter, they all rely on two key legal principles to operate fair use, and safe harbor. Fair use is one that probably all of you watching are familiar with at this point since everyone on YouTube claims that their video is protected by it. Fair use. Yeah, and if you case, in case you hadn't realized, uh, that is pretty much how a lot of these channels get around uh, using copyrighted material from video games, films, all that sort of stuff, and music, uh, is for, like fair use. And um, yeah, it's uh, one of those things that is looking like it's gonna be a bit more shady if, if this thing goes through. It is very, very easy to understand. I'm Alex from I Hate Everything, and where's the fair use? So we will be the first client of this account that will be known as the Fair Use Protection Account, also known as FUPA. But what is it exactly? Well, it allows for the use of copyrighted materials without the permission of the original copyright holder. You may have seen some video creators specifically go out of their way to state that their use of clips is for educational purposes. Now with all you've just learned in this video that I've made for educational purposes. And that's because educational use, along with criticism and review, commentary, news reporting, and research are all things that are explicitly allowed by United States Fair Use Doctrine. It's how I'm able to show Gravity Falls clips like this one and cutouts of characters like this one when crafting theories about how the show isn't over. Because the show isn't over. It shouldn't be over. Please don't tell me it's over. I refuse to believe <laughs> that it's over. Please bring back Gravity Falls. Or how CinemaSins can show clips from a movie to send them. Or how Honest Trailers can show clips from a movie to honestly trailer them. It's how we're able to- And I'm pretty sure all of you guys have heard of Honest Trailers uh, before. Like, one of the- probably one of the biggest, um, YouTube creators out there. Uh, yeah, so literally no one is safe from this to Article 13 rule. Bob SquarePants with the Super Smash Brothers World of Light trailer to have Squidward suddenly getting vaporized mid-bath. Or how Thanos can snap his fingers to dust away the Emoji movie. Thank you for that, by the way. But what if something doesn't fall under fair use? Like if I just straight up re-upload a chunk of Harry Potter? Well, that's where Safe Harbor comes in. You see, according to the United States Digital Millennium Copyright Act, or DMCA, media companies can issue takedown notices to website owners requesting the removal of infringing content on their site. When someone uploads a 24-hour live stream of Family Guy to YouTube, YouTube isn't actually responsible for committing that copyright violation. They're only responsible for removing it. That is the principle of safe harbor. That YouTube here is just an intermediary. It's not at fault for someone misusing the system and uploading illegal stuff as long as it gets taken down. And as such, they're shielded from copyright liability. That's why creators get copyright 
strikes and not YouTube. And just know that when I say YouTube, I really also mean SoundCloud, Imager, Facebook, Literally Twitter, everything. Reddit, <laughs> any site that allows users to upload content. Now, there's one problem that you might have noticed with what I just described, that all of these laws are in the United States. The United States Fair Use Doctrine. The United States Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Europe has some very different policies. Policies that the Article 13 meme ban threatens to make even stricter. You see, in Europe, it's not called fair use, it's called permitted use. Now, that at first might seem like an insignificant word change, but just the name permitted use actually speaks to how the European doctrine differs from the US. Think about what the word permit means. It means that you need permission to do something. For example, you're not allowed to park somewhere without a permit from the city. Home improvements require a construction permit from the government. Basically, you're not allowed to do this unless we say that you're allowed to. And the same applies to copyrighted works. You're not allowed to use them except where explicitly and expressly permitted to do so. And I think you can start to see where this system might fall apart. So, where are you permitted to use this stuff? Well, as stated before, the US Fair Use Doctrine specifies that for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, or research, the use of a copyrighted work is considered fair. However, an important fact here is that the list isn't exclusive. In other words, the US Fair Use Doctrine is written in a way that basically says lots of things can qualify as fair use. Here are some examples. This in turn allows the law to remain flexible and include new forms of media that have arisen since it was written, like memes or vlogs, which didn't exist back when US copyright law was first being drafted. Hard contrast, to believe it was in 1976 that this stuff came into being. Takes the completely opposite approach. According to the EU's Copyright and the Information Society Directive of 2001, use for parody, quotation, private copying, or classroom use are permitted. At first, that seems pretty similar to US doctrine, but then you realize that's it. That is the whole. So I just want to put, pause this right here because you can see almost immediately how much more leeway there is for the Copyright Act in America as opposed to there is in Europe uh, for the European Union. And um, yeah, it's, it's shocking. <laughs> Man. List. Anything that is not on that list is automatically not allowed. Under US law, you could take something like this scene. What the hell are you? We are Venom. And remix it to do something like this. What the hell are you? It's me, Mario. Quality meme, 10 out of 10. Clap, clap. And US lawyers would say, well, this might technically not be a criticism or commentary, but it's not like this person is trying to take anyone else's work and pass it off as their own. Fair use. European Union doctrine as it's written says, is it for classroom? Is it a quotation? Is it parody? Well, then no permit for you. <laughs> oh, and that last one about parody might be a bit confusing, but the legal definition of parody is actually very strict. The best example is something like a parody song. In order to officially qualify the new parody version of the song needs to have lyrics yeah the actual restrictions the for having what an actual parody is, is are so strict short, europe's copyright doctrine just tends to be a lot stricter but article 13 is what threatens to make a bad problem even worse because now it's actively targeting the idea of safe harbor it directly states that quote online content sharing service providers i.e sites like youtube tumblr reddit whatever and rights holders the movie studios music labels etc shall cooperate in good faith in order to ensure that unauthorized protected works or other subject matter are not available on their services. And uh, more recently as well, I've been getting a lot of trouble from Sony, as a matter of fact, uh, which has only just started happening recently, even though I've had the same intro and music for the last God, like year and a half or so. Um, and all of that stuff, to my knowledge, was stuff that I got the rights for. And then all of a sudden it's like, no, actually you haven't. Um, so uh, I had to change a certain aspect of my intro uh, to meet the guidelines for copyright because it was getting automatically bot detected on Facebook. And um, yeah, I, I can see that you know, uh, they're talking a lot about um, putting, implementing changes where uh, you would be, you wouldn't even be able to upload, like you would have your content um, sniped before it even um, got onto the platform in the first place. 
Uh, so if you think the bots are bad now for copyright, then just wait until this law passes because it's going to get even worse. So basically, all these sites need to work to ensure that copyrighted stuff isn't uploaded. That shouldn't be that big of a deal, right? YouTube has Content ID, which protects against wrongful uploads, sometimes a bit too aggressive, right? But here's the trouble. You see, an earlier version of Article 13 mentioned, quote, proportionate content recognition technologies, which sounds like what YouTube already has in place. And it's awful as it currently exists. Upon upload. And if that was actually what was written, well then things would be fine. I wouldn't be making this episode. But this didn't make it into the version that passed. The people behind Article 13, which is mostly the music industry, because quite frankly the music industry tries to kill anything that it finds threatening, wants to keep the language vague because then they can demand basically anything they want and, and this say, is well, really the most important part. In all good faith with us. What does good faith mean? It's unclear, it's poorly defined, and that's the problem. What they they're demanding is that nothing that has the potential to be infringing be uploaded onto these websites. Catching it via content ID once it's on the system isn't good enough. They want to stop it before it even gets uploaded. So what does that translate to? Well, it has the potential to mean the end of all user-generated content. The Literally, so many YouTube did. channels I mean, would just get wiped it. off Who the face of the earth. It's unreal. Situation. Not the movie studios or the big media companies. They're all permitted to use their own rights. Not the music industry. They just own the songs it's us all of us we all lose and when they're saying all of us they're not just talking about creators we're literally talking about even if you just want to upload stuff stuff for fun on your own youtube facebook account all the rest of it it's literally everyone that's on the internet it's the people on YouTube and Tumblr and TikTok and Twitter and whatever we lose. In a conversation I personally had with YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki about Article 13, she made it very clear. If this ends up going through with the current legal language, YouTube will have to treat Europe like a bubble. Videos uploaded this outside is probably of the worst part. won't be able to go in, and in Europe, the only people who will really be... So not only with all this stuff with Brexit going on, uh, we would also have a literal bubble around Europe um, making it that much harder to get uh, seen by a wide audience um, which is awful. Permitted to upload will end up being the big companies. If you need even more proof, she even wrote about it. Quote, if implemented as proposed, Article 13 threatens hundreds of thousands of jobs. European creators, businesses, artists, and everyone they employ. The proposal could force platforms like YouTube to allow only content from a small number of large companies. It would be too risky for platforms to host content from smaller original content creators because the platforms would now be directly liable for that content, end quote. The safe harbor shield that was protecting YouTube from copyright strikes may dissolve. And because their butts are on the line for all copyright strikes now, the only people YouTube can allow to upload are the people they are certain owns the IP rights, the big companies. And all other sites would have to follow suit. And it is expensive and difficult to make an appropriate content ID system. Even worse, it could empower media companies to make more erroneous copyright claims, such as the case which they do already. Entertainment went after people posting classical music composed by like Bob. my vlog Before, from the last week. Copyright protection as it applies to movies and music, but simple images are covered by copyright as well. Every painting, every drawing, every logo that's posted to the internet is copyrighted material. Every tattoo that's not an exaggeration. Tattoos are actually owned by the artist who made them. And of course, each and every meme. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. Boy, that sucks for people over in Britain. Wait, they're not part of the EU. Hold up. Would Britain be affected by Article 13? Spoilers, they are. Yeah, apparently they would be. <laughs> for people over in Britain, France, and Spain, but why should I care? Well, you might not be European, but the sites you use operate in countries that are part of the EU. And when different countries have different laws, companies usually cater to the least common denominator. Rather than having different policies for users in different countries, companies will just usually target the strictest set of rules and comply with those, then apply that set of rules to everybody. For a recent example of this, earlier this year, you probably got a flood of emails from Facebook, Google, Reddit, and pretty much every website under the sun notify- And I'm pretty sure all of you guys are still getting updates, uh, like daily, I'll go to websites and still be getting asked to update my privacy policy <laughs> Hey, we've updated our privacy policy, click that you accept it. Well, the fact that you got all these emails around the same time wasn't a coincidence. All of these companies were updating their privacy policy to comply with GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulation passed in May by, you guessed it, the European Union. These sorts of yep. privacy and copyright changes affect all 
all users, not just those based in the EU. And trust me, once media companies realize that they can take us down in one part of the globe, I guarantee they'll be knocking down the door trying to make it happen in more corners of the earth. So, yep. European or it not, could literally the spread like wildfire across is all of the internet. That should matter to you, threatening your memes, your online shows, and most importantly, the literally hundreds of thousands of people who make their living working online. Me, the whole theorist team, every YouTuber that you and myself so, and many of the creators out there. Well, there are three things. First and most importantly, spread the word. People aren't talking about this because it's a complicated issue, but start raising awareness about the dangers of Article 13. Which is exactly why we're talking about this right now. So if you are watching and you made it to this point in the video, uh, if you didn't see the part earlier, I was saying, please, please, please go out there. Uh, start spreading awareness of Article 13, uh, share a video of it, there's plenty online on YouTube, I will post a link up to uh, the whole Article 13 movement, and um, please, please get in contact with uh, your local MP and uh, really explain to them why this is such a horrible idea and try and convince them to at least alter some of the wording on this. Because it is absolutely urgent. As I say, like this, this could be implemented by the time we get to 2019, which is almost a, a month's time. Share this video with your favorite online creators. And not because I'm like, give me a lot of views, though in this case, I absolutely want this video to get a lot of views, but because I think I did a pretty decent job of explaining the issue in a clear way that wasn't super boring. Basically, we need people to understand why this matters. And then number two, make your own content. Start tweeting about Article 13 with the hashtag Save Your Internet. Make videos raise awareness and finally number three if you're in Europe talk to your MEPs find out whether they supported article 13 and why convince them in a clear and reasoned and logical way that article 13 as it's currently written will cause significant harm to the European internet we need MEPs to understand what's really going on here and think through the consequences of the language of the law no one here is disagreeing that the rights of copyright holders should be infringed upon that's not the issue the issue is that the language of the law is too vague, and as it's currently written, it opens the door for media companies to abuse this legislation. And you have to do these three things right away, right now, because here's the like, thing. This right now, after you've watched this video. <laughs> hypothetical that could happen. It is something that has already happened. It has passed multiple times, and it is currently in the final stages of voting. It's a real thing. They're just solidifying the language now. And if nothing is done to change that language, it could be final finalized and implemented in its current form before the end of this year. And if it is, this is a preview of the show that you might just end up seeing every week. And that's no theory. That's a fact. Save your internet, guys. Help me save my job. This is a bad Help me save my job as well. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of that. Um, yes, yeah, so... Uh, thank you guys if you made it this far into the video. Um, as I said, this is super, super important, not just for myself, but for every single person on the internet. Um, shout out to Joey T. Walker. Um, uh, yeah, I've posted the link in the comments, mate, if you want to find out more about this. Uh, as with anyone else, uh, shout out to Ollie Linear, uh, Harley Thomas Strong, Rob Dunlop, uh, Stephanie, Harley Thomas Strong, and Ben Mitsu. Uh, big up to all of you guys that have been watching live. Um, and if you're watching this on the repeat as well, it's not too late. Please, as I say, get involved as soon as possible. Uh, because even if you're not a creator, um, this will be affecting a lot of the shows you're probably going to be wanting to watch on YouTube, um, Facebook, literally at any social site. It's all of the internet. All of the internet. And as I was saying, even though the law is being passed in the EU... Um, as we saw with the internet changes with the GPDR, um, it will get implemented across all of the globe because no company wants to be left holding the short straw and get taken to court for a bunch of money. Um, so yeah, absolutely, please help raise awareness for this. Uh, I'm sorry this episode has been so Article 13 heavy, but as I said, it's it's going to affect the entire globe of the internet. It's insane. So um yeah, I, I can't really think of much else to... I don't really want to talk about much else in this episode, to be honest with you, because this is such an important topic to myself and all of you guys out there, uh, even, if you just like, even if you just like sharing jokes and all that sort of stuff. So I'm pretty much going to leave it there, really. Uh, I do have some new releases coming out. I think there's a new video for Goa Cream, which is um, coming out 
um, uh, after after this vlog. And uh, later on, there's Boombastic Sounds, seven o'clock till nine uh, at Boombastic Sounds. We'll be playing uh, a lot of your new music and whatnot. So really looking forward to that. But in the meantime, as I say, this is the utmost urgency. I would never normally make an episode about so just one topic like this, but it's absolutely important. So please, please, please uh, find out more information about Article 13, share it with your friends, share it with your family, write to your local MP about why, if they support it, um, why they support it, and if you can help change their mind. We need to get this language changed as it is because it's so vague, it would just mean that big companies can just use that vagueness to just crush and just steamroll so many creators all in one go without any pushback. Um, so I'm going to pretty much leave the, the vlog there for this week, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I think coming up... Uh, oh my god, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just... This whole Article 13 business just knocked me sideways, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, if you value any sort of creativity on the internet, please get involved. I, yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. Much love and respect out to all of you guys. And hopefully I will see you the same time, same place next week. And God knows what it's going to be like if it gets into December and all the stuff is still going on. I actually dread to think. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Yeah, I'm going to leave it on this slightly sour note. But um, thank you guys all so much for watching. I will see you the same time, same place next week with a lot more stuff to talk about. All right, see you then. Bye.